Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are currently in Celebration, Florida. And even more specifically than that, we are careening down the highway in, in a golf cart. So we're going for a little golf cart ride here in, in Adam's golf. Does your golf cart have a name? Yes, this is Mini Marge. Mini Marge. Yep. So I have Large Marge, the RV. This is Mini Marge. So where are we going today? Where are we cruising well, to? We're going to start off and get some coffee over here at Starbucks. Okay. And then we're going to get go out of the celebration bubble to what I call no man's land. No man's land. Sounds, sounds Highway 192. Sounds intimidating. Yep. And we're going to be up for an adventure. All right. See what we can find out there. Sounds awesome. Follow us. Look at this, the uh, electric vehicles even have their own parking spots here oh, yeah. in Celebration. So yeah, this is what we will be uh, riding in today. This is the Gem E2. It's an electric golf cart. I know there was like, it's like a little plug there. Adam had plugged in last night, getting it all juiced up for today's adventures. I peek over here. Sometimes. Usually if uh, the gator is out, which I have affectionately named Cool. Cool the gator? Cool the gator. Usually you will see people out congregating, looking at Oh, them. you can see like if there's like a, some paparazzi like taking gator pictures. So is there only like one one alligator in this pond? There's a couple. There's two or three, but usually one of them. Cool's usually up by the, the, the steps or over there. He likes to hang out by the shore. But I don't see anybody looming over looking, so I'm going to guess he's not visible right now. Yeah, no gator sightings, but, oh, there actually was a turtle there, but when he saw me coming, he just, he dove down. Sorry, turtle, didn't mean to scare you. One thing I find amazing here in Celebration is this Art Deco movie theater. So cool. And uh, Adam was just telling me, they, they don't play movies here. It's not, not a functioning movie theater. I don't know, uh, yeah, it looks like they maybe have some shops in there. There's an ice cream shop. But uh, man, wouldn't it be great to go see a movie in a theater like that? Well, hey there. Do you need a ride, mister? I do. Look at this, even if it starts raining a little bit, you get the yeah. windshield wipers. It goes to about there, it doesn't go all the way up. It goes far enough up. Does it make it a little enough of like a hole that you can see through? Let's see, let's test it out. Can you test it out? I don't even know how to test it out, hold on. Never, you've never driven this in the rain before? I've never driven this in the rain. I mean, I would even take this out in the rain. I would leave it in the garage. I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sunny. I don't think you need to worry about it. Yeah. All right. Oh, there we go. It's a lot farther up than I was thinking. Yeah. It, 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 it would, I think it would, it would give you suitable visibility. Yeah. Look at that Valentine's Day house there. They're decked out. Oh, yeah, here we are cruising out with the uh, cars here. Going. 25, this only goes up to uh, 25. Oh, look at the dump truck there. All right. So now we have uh, crossed over into sidewalk traveling. This is cool. I can't, you know, I uh, I can drive my car on the road, but I can't drive my car on the sidewalk. Yeah. And I think they make these specifically this wide because they know people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why else would the sidewalk be this one? Yeah, probably set up for a golf cart. So we're allowed to cross over the highway. We couldn't, I don't think we can turn down and drive that way yeah, or drive not, that way. We're but not well. we're allowed, apparently allowed to cut across when the, uh, as long as we're going like through a light. That would be safe, but we're going to ride, ride around the perimeter and just get a quick little update. Because I feel like one day this is all going to be bulldozed. This is like prime real estate through here. Our first stop is this uh, Orlando Sun Resort. It's an abandoned, uh, I guess abandoned hotel and resort. I think we're, Adam said we're just gonna we're just gonna cruise through. Yeah, we're not gonna go in there. We're not gonna, dude. We're not gonna do any spelunking. We're not gonna go into the. I wouldn't recommend that. Into the uh, abandoned buildings, but just uh, a little cruise around the perimeter, taking a peek at uh, at the abandoned uh, resort here. How long is this? How long has this been closed? At least ten years. Ten years. Yeah. 
This is in a little worse shape than the Celebration Theater, which is also good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you can tell this was a pretty sizable place, pretty big place. There's a convention center Imagine right renting there. a room over there at that resort, and that's your view. Oh, yeah, that's your, that, yeah, that hotel is still open, but they can... Probably get a pretty good view from the upper floors of, of down onto the uh, the Sun Resort here. Yeah, you can see people have pulled in here. Either drag racing or spinning out here, their tires. Oh, look, there's been a, was there a fire in the lobby there? Is it just dark? I don't know what's on the floor over there, so I'm gonna back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't wanna. Through there. There's probably broke, broken glass and whatnot. This is expansive. It's massive. Back here. It's just amazing it sat here empty for so long. It, it might have been longer than a decade, it could have been longer closer to 10 20 years. years. I don't ever remember it being open. Oh, okay. So it's been closed for. Oh yeah, I see the little gazebos. There's cars over there. There's a car. Oh yeah, there's people. There's cars parked out here. I guess probably some people probably living in these these old uh, little rooms. Like they could have like glass windows that are just like completely smashed out. I actually noticed a couple other cars in here too that are kind of close up to the rooms. Probably not. Probably not going to drive over to there though. But yeah, there's like a vehicle over there, an actual active, drivable vehicle. Is that a U? There's a U-Haul back there. Yeah, there's there. a U-Haul uh, back there. There's a truck and a U-Haul. There's a couple vehicles, yeah, including a U-Haul. Yeah, up here by the convention. Oh, yeah. You can see there's been a, there has been a fire. Oh, yeah, it's torched. Torched inside there. Down through there. Yeah, it's amazing, this whole, this whole, uh, Whole structure did not go up in flames. You can see how the severe the fire damage is. It says Jasmine on top of this building. It's just the Jasmine building. Oh yeah, yeah. Although these the glass windows have been smashed out, it's the laundry and furniture just thrown. Oh yeah, there's fire in there too. So yeah, multiple fires. Yeah, we were just in Celebration, Florida about 15 minutes ago. It's right across the street. It's a little little different, a little different vibe right. over here in uh, at the old Sun Resort. This is what you were you're, so you're talking about when you said no man's land? Yeah. Ooh. Here's the old tennis courts right there. Oh yeah, old tennis courts there. Probably not a lot of people playing tennis these days. Yeah, drast contrast to Celebration, which is right across the street there. I don't know if this would have been like, or if this is like the the the, the uh, where you check in or. Twisty treat. Over here where these condos are, these uh, hotel is, that yeah. used to be Arabian Nights Dinner Show. Arabian Nights Dinner Show. Yeah, it was right there. It's like a horse show? Yeah, it was almost it was almost like medieval times, but it was like set uh, around Arabian Nights. Okay. In fact, I'll show you a little remnant over here. This oh, still okay. Exists. And, uh, still 
have, please do not dangle from the statues where the oh, horses used to be. There's no, no statue left. There, someone has drawn this. Someone, right drew a, in the someone drew a pentagram there. Yep. But you can see where the horse's feet right there were. Oh, okay, yeah, look. Look, they're even like horse shaped. You can see the horse statues embedded there for the Arabian Nights dinner show. Do not That's hang a little, on the statues. Uh, little relic right there. It's a little ticket booth here. Adam was saying they used to sell like timeshares and you know, sometimes they'll give you like free amusement park tickets if you're willing to like go on a condo tour with them. But it's sitting here empty now. Yeah, take a look at the door handle. It looks like a ticket. Oh yeah, let me hop out here. Yeah, that's fun. The door handle is like a ticket where you get where you get a ticket. Ah, uh, look at that. See the stickers in there for the, the attractions that were new at the time. Turtle Trek. Turtle I think I've been in Turtle Trek at SeaWorld. And all new Infinity Falls. That should date that should uh, date this a little bit. When did Infinity Falls come out um, at SeaWorld? I, I know that Attractions have been there at least a few years, but I'm not sure. Also, a Medieval Times sticker there on the floor. Oh, okay. Over here, I don't know, can you guys see that? There is a floor sticker for Mako, which is a really fun roller coaster over at SeaWorld. Mako's been there for a while. Oh, there's a Bush Gardens poster over there. Yeah, the Bush Gardens poster. You see some old, old uh, brochures there as well. Looks like maybe from uh, Medieval Times. The fun spot poster up there. Now look up there, there is a, a black flag flying. That's actually, if you look at it, it's a US flag that's been and turned black somehow. I don't know if it's like bleached, not bleached, but like singed from being in the Florida sun or if someone just intentionally uh, painted it. I always love checking out the uh, the tourist gift shops here along uh, I-92. And uh, this one here, this is interesting. If you bring your receipt from IHOP, you get a free vacation. That seems like a seems like a heck of a deal. See this gator here says, please do not play with me and my heads. So don't do not touch him, do not play with him, and uh, quit messing around with the gator head says, please kids do not touch. Which makes sense, because they actually have the uh, the pointy teeth. Always makes me sad when they don't have my name on the uh, custom souvenirs. No Jacob. Normally uh, Jacob, I think it's a fairly common name nowadays, and they don't see it. They also don't have any Bort coffee cups. Yeah, just so many of these small gift shops here. Notice this one has like the actual Disney font on the sign. Unfortunately, this one's closed down. This one uh, has been abandoned. Four or, five months ago. four or five months ago? Okay, so this is fairly recently shut down. Yeah, you can see just completely empty there, completely cleaned out. You have these murals here. You got the alligator over there. And this shark is telling us that they have the best prices in town. Yeah, notice as we're out here driving along the sidewalk, there's really not a lot of people on the sidewalk. No. Not a lot of uh, pedestrian foot traffic along here. I have noticed that myself. You get up towards Old Town, you'll see a little more, but through this section, there really is. I love some of the artwork on these buildings here. You see the giant eagle. And look at this, this is the visitor's flea market here. Those kids on the sign there. Apparently, those we drove past have like a ton of food trucks back there. May have to come back sometime and uh, experience all the food trucks. Oh, it's this place, Machine Gun America. I think you can actually go inside and they let you shoot a machine gun off. Eh, maybe, maybe come back and do that someday too. This is the Dollar Ninety Nine store. We used to have uh, the Dollar Store when I was a kid. But apparently it's, it, it, at one point it was the $1.99 store. I guess now it's kind of converted to the $2.50 store. But uh, Adam said there's some fun stuff in here. So We got some fun uh, vintage postcards here. 
body surfing in Florida. You can see someone, the woman's actually surfing on a on that man's body. So look at, look at Shamu right there. Oh, I love this one. It's that Shamu character. Hello from Florida. Oh yeah, these are some cool. When was the last time you saw these? The cool era card. These bumper stickers are from. These bumper stickers here. Stop procrastinating tomorrow. I'm not sure. <laughs> these are from the '80s. <laughs> Says having a whale of a time. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that one is uh, very nice or appropriate. <laughs> yeah, but some of them. Yeah, what's this one say? Oh, Florida has the people sitting on the beach there. Yeah, I love the old maps. <laughs> that woman. There's a woman in a in a bikini on that one. And uh, get this Florida. Wish you were here. As it shows a giant hurricane rolling in. It's a little noisy in here because the fire alarm is going off, but some really great old school Florida uh, souvenirs here. We got a kick out of Florida. I love dad ashtray there. And look at these very old uh, snow globes here. That's like the one that's got like, it's got like oil in it that separates from the water. Little gator in that one. Now, this building's pretty fascinating here. It is the Rock Church, this massive church here in uh, in the strip mall. And uh, this is where they would have a American Gladiators dinner show. So uh, the American Gladiators would perform here. They like had a residency, and uh, they would um, they would they would put on their their American Gladiator show, do their props, fight with the big. Uh, with the big uh, sticks, the big, uh, big pogo sticks, roll around in big hamster balls. People would come here and uh, enjoy the American Gladiators, but now they come here to pray. Came down here to the corner of where, uh, of the church where the American Gladiators dinner show used to be. And this is a really interesting relic here. The old ticket windows are still here with the speaker and the hole to hand the money. But you look in there, and you see it's just, you know, like a uh, like a gathering room. They don't have a ticket desk or anything, but it's just open. You can just stick your arm in there. And uh, it's just, I, I don't know how they can keep birds and lizards from getting in there, but that's pretty interesting. We ready to roll? I do, I do. Hop on in. Yeah, I did pick up a few uh, postcards here to send out to uh, my Patreon subscribers. Here is, uh, this is like uh, the old Shamu costume there. And I uh, love the, uh, those vintage map postcards. This one here, greetings from Orlando. And uh, this is the most interesting one because this is Universal Studios, Florida, Alfred Hitchcock, The Art of Making Movies. Looks like it may have been like a show. Have you ever seen this show, Adam? I did, yeah, back in the day. It's where it looks like like actually they like show you how they film like how they film the shower scene in uh, in Psycho. That's interesting. Up there, you see it. It's one of my favorite places to stop here on uh, I-92. The uh, the big orange, the world's largest orange, also known as Orange World. They had a fire. When was the fire, Adam? Was it about, about ten or eleven months? Ten ago. eleven months, ten ago. months ago. Ten months ago. And uh, they, they, they continued operating. They have, uh, they're selling stuff out front. I know they had talked about um, reopening the inside, but I'm not sure when, uh, when that's gonna be official. So, uh, cruise down here and take a look. over here actively doing some work on the roof there of the big orange not sure what he's doing up there if he's painting or maybe just cleaning up oh yeah it looks like he's doing some pressure washing up there it's getting it cleaned up I love these uh, these classic murals here on the side of the building welcome to Florida take some home and I usually do grab some oranges uh, before I head out of Florida after I lost a little weight, I went through an old tote that had t-shirts that didn't fit me anymore, and I actually found this shirt here. I was really, really excited uh, to have the, uh, they have the 
world's largest orange shirt back and I can actually wear it again. Have some of their own uh, branded merchandise here. Some orange world chapstick, some orange world lotion. Some pens there. These are grapefruit spoons. You gotta be careful because they're serrated. You don't wanna eat your cereal with that or it'll slice your mouth up. I was gonna say, look at the size of this grapefruit, but this is not a grapefruit. This is a pom pomelo. I don't know if I've ever had a pomelo before. You know what? It's good. I don't know if I have a pack. Alright, actually do some free samples here, so I'm just gonna try the pomelo here. It's gonna look, look like a giant grapefruit. Well, that's really good. It's like a grapefruit. It's actually a little more mild, kind of like a mild flavor to it. It's not quite as tart. It has a little bit of that grapefruit bitterness, but I think it's pretty delicious. Oh, man. That is yummy. We got the red navel here. Mmm. It's a classic orange. Really rich flavor there. Mm. Or just here so much better than the ones you buy, you know, at a grocery store elsewhere. Mm. So the inside's not open yet. I guess they don't really have a prediction, but they said they are doing electrical work, are doing work to get it open. Uh, staff there is very nice, very kind. And they even uh, were kind enough to send me home with a bag of juicing oranges. We will, we will get back home and make some juice. I've never been back here. Apparently, there's like a little little flea market. Yeah, it's all indoors. This is all part okay. Of it. This is an indoor flea market. It's like stepping back in time. This place. So this is Main Gate Flea Market. Now I don't think that is, I don't think that is Zoltar there. I think that is. Yep, that is Zoltan. Kind of a uh, a, a different different uh, type of fortune telling wizard. All right, let's feed Zoltan a dollar here. Get to make sure that dollar's nice and straight. I'm going in even. Zoltan doesn't want any crinkly, bendy dollars. What? What? Oh, come on, take it. Take it. There we go. Is it keeping it. All right, I got a press. I guess this is the one we have to push our birthday. A Scorpio. Oh, here he comes. Comes to life. <laughs> the greatness of the old seeing Zoltan is once again required. I delve deeply into your future. What lies ahead? Mm. Ah. I see victory. Victory. Celebration. Ooh. Success. Celebration Florida. That's you are a lucky soul. <laughs> it's an awfully evil laugh. Huh? The great Zoltan invites you to visit again soon. Okay. There is my fortune there. If you want to pause the video, you can go ahead and read that. I don't have any uh, quarters, unfortunately, because all these uh, these health reading devices here. I guess this is a palm reader. You can ask the wizard. It's a penny penny smasher, a love meter. Yeah, you can look at some of the the uh, categories there. A couple different love meters. That's the love doctor. Down here, a little arcade, the Midway Arcade. A giant Furby on top. Where do you? Where does this giant Furby even come from? Look at that. You good at claw machines? What's that? California speed. What's that comment? What says? Please play gently. Machines are vintage. The gods and monsters. Uh, claw machine here. I don't even never seen these characters before. Some pretty interesting characters. I think I might actually throw a dollar in here and see if I can uh, snag one. I think we're gonna try to grab this red guy right there. So we're gonna line it up. I think we're, I think we're lined up there. Oh come on. Oh perfect. No, 
The claw is too weak. The claw is too weak. Nothing. Handful of nothing. Step out back. There's this orange juice stand. And check out this monkey here next to the uh, banana tree. There's a second building out here. And then back here is like a bunch of food trucks parked for, uh, I guess you'd come in and then have a feast from all these different uh, food trucks in the middle of uh, your flea market trip. Some t-shirts on display there. You got the uh, rest in peace Michael Jackson and a Gangnam Style. A Gangnam Style t-shirt, wow. Over here, look at this. All these different um, license plates. About, what's that, $15, $13? I've never like, I don't know how much license plates normally cost. I've always thought about collecting them. Yeah, that doesn't seem like that bad of a price. It's be fun to like put up on the wall. Oh yeah, Virginia is for lovers. Uh, that's really nostalgic to me, the, the Wisconsin license plate. Like uh, growing up in, uh, in Wisconsin. Seems like no matter where you go, in uh, in Florida, you could buy you can buy an alligator's head. This toy booth here, all these uh, fun toys. Look at this anti-stress punch me. You punch the punch this poor guy in the face here. All the little yipping dogs, and then these are, these are interesting. So like a little alien there. This guy is like purple. He's got a crown on. This guy is like a, a goat with four eyes. Yeah, what are these? What are these monstrous, monstrous things? What is that? Is that? I think that's like a little, I think that's like a little plushy demogorgon or something. Yeah, look at that. Those are fun. Now these are magnets here of like food items. What is these? Like little desserts, hot dogs, tacos, and I guess they just you stick these to your fridge, so. And you could have food in your fridge and then just have the outside coated. Like that is a magnet. It's a typical family visiting Orlando there. Except normally the mom has uh, has a head. The number one rule here at uh, the main gate flea market, do not touch the bird. over here to Old Town, which is kind of a, uh, an entertainment district with a few uh, amusement park rides within. And look at this. Old Town even has its own designated golf cart parking. See, it's pretty quiet out here today. I guess Adam was saying normally really busy on Saturdays, but during the week, very mellow. Here is the Mortem Manor. The haunted house here at Old Town have been through their really fun haunted house. And uh, sadly, they're not open today, it doesn't look like. They open tonight. Late. They open tonight? So they're open in the evenings? They open in the evening starting on Wednesday night. So today, oh, okay. Today, today, Wednesday? Yeah, today's Thursday. Today's right? Thursday. So they are going to be open later tonight. But uh, I guess during the day, they do have their gift shop open. They have a really cool gift shop here called uh, Post Mortem, the horror boutique. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff in here. And look at that, uh, the logo there with all the uh, horror icons. You got Jaws from Jaws, the shark from Jaws. Got uh, Jason Voorhees Beetlejuice there. Uh, whose butcher knife do you think that is? I think that's maybe Michael Myers? Look at all these amazing masks up here. I like this one, the, the, alien, the alien from Nope there. And uh, get this here. It's my first zombie plush there. You can see you can actually put your finger through like his uh, his gory wound, and oh, you can actually feel like his rib bones poking through there. And here is Bruce the shark. I guess, I guess the shark's not named Jaws. The shark is named Bruce. And uh, but this Bruce here, you can cut open his stomach and remove different items. There's a license plate there. There's the the tank, the tank there that exploded him. And just different chunks of things that the shark has uh, swallowed. His coffin's here. This woman's uh, spewing out black fluid. 
And here we have the uh, some of the ghosts from Haunted Mansion. And who's this guy here in the in the casket? We went and saw the Hatbox Ghost for the first time yesterday. Here's the Hatbox Ghost Funko Pop, and that is the the movie is the movie version, the uh, Jared Leto Hatbox Ghost. There's Reagan from The Exorcist. I normally her head spins in circles, but this one bobbles. There is a uh, old time photo here. Is that, is that a Charles Bronson mannequin? A Charles Bronson? I think it's supposed to be Charles Bronson face right there. That's a little Bronson y. I'm going to say that's an old Bronson wax figure or something. This is uh, the fun spot section of Old Town where they have more of their uh, amusement rides. They have the uh, rock and roll fired up here. Looks like there's currently only. Uh, one person riding on the uh, on the old rock and roll here. I was totally fooled. I looked over there. I'm like, there's an alligator, but uh, then I realized that's just like a fake rubber floating alligator. Also, not a real hippo. We're this monster truck with the ridiculously large tires. It says big fun. Now it says on the sign this 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 truck was f featured in the movies Roadhouse and Tango and Cash. And I guess it's retired here at Old Town. Now see what used to be called the Bigfoot, which was like a popular monster truck during the 80s. Looks like they have changed the name to Big Fun, I guess to match the fun spot. Woo -hoo, look how big this tire is. Like I can fit inside the wheel well here. the galaxy spin here it's a wild mouse style coaster see them uh, careening up there the wild mouse was coaster that looks mild but it's really not those turns right there give you give like put incredible force on your body Whee! this is the southern breeze this far here I just noticed walking by they have these hanging from the ceiling, this box with this giant snake hanging out of it. Gotta yeah, check that out. Vicious snake bursting out of its cargo box. We got gator. Gator over here as well. Here is Rootin' and Tootin's Shootin' Alley. We take a few uh, a few shots here. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> Down here is the, oh my gosh, it's the uh, the old town electric chair here. It's only a dollar to make him holler. Your discretion advised. So for the low, low price of one dollar, you can watch a man be executed. Yeah, you can see, watch him sizzle. All pleas for clemency are denied. Because all pleas for clemency are denied. Stand.
Yeah, I got a good story from uh, Ed Edmonds, who's the owner of Distortions, who makes Halloween animatronics. And uh, he created pretty much almost all the electric chairs you see in haunted houses. He kind of is the innovator of that. And I got a chance to talk to him at Transworld, and he told me that when they ordered the electric chair for here at Old Town with the, with the one dollar uh, one dollar fee, he said he said he said he didn't understand. He told them, well, no, you know, you're not gonna make a lot of money because one person is gonna put in a dollar, and then everyone gets to see the show. So you only make one dollar off a whole crowd of people. But then Ed said he traveled down here himself to see it in action, and he said he came out here and there was a huge line of people standing with a dollar. That one person puts a dollar in, watch the show, the person directly behind them, waits till the show's over, puts their dollar in, everyone wants to, wants to be able to get their own dollar and get their own private electric chair show. From a little less violent show, we have Esmeralda here. She is uh, one of Zoltar's family members. If we can get our fortune read by Esmeralda. Oh, oh, oh. 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 She's not doing a lot of moving. Oh, the speaker's not doing a little great, but we do have the, oh, that's Pink Esmeralda Speaks <laughs> card there. That's pretty cool. I don't think I have this one. Oh, look back here in the arcade. They have one of the old uh, Feed Big Bertha machines. These are fairly rare here. Doesn't look like this one's currently operating, but yeah, you would take the uh, the balls there and throw them in her uh, big mouth. Yeah, that's classic. Yeah, really quiet down over at this end, the Tilt-A-Whirl, a little roller coaster and a carousel, some uh, paratrooper ride, a little drop tower, but uh, no one's currently using any of the rides. They are open though. So thank you for joining me and Adam today as we do, this is a true Florida experience, cruising around on a golf cart, visiting <laughs> some of the uh, sights, smells, yes. and sounds of I-92, this uh, wonderful tourist area, kind of in a strange place, like, in a, like in a strange time frame here with, with it. There's still a lot of tourist stuff. Some of the stuff maybe has seen better days, potentially but uh, definitely a, a unique experience out here uh, on the, the strip of, uh, of I-92. But uh, thank you for chauffeuring me around oh, in, in your golf. Thank you for being my caddy Anytime. today. Yeah. And uh, of course, if you guys like these videos, uh, I travel around the country, film roadside attractions, the music park museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to subscribe, that helped me out. But uh, until next time, this one's in the bag.